this video, I want to show you how you can create and use Power BI templates. We're going to go through them step by step together. And also we're going to talk about why you should be using them in the first place, all of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So first of all, before we go to the demo, let's define what a Power BI template file is. A Power BI template file provides a very good starting point when it comes to creating similar looking reports in Power BI. So for example, if you're working with multiple report developers, developing Power BI reports for the same company, you wanna have multiple reports for different parts of the business, but at the same time, keep the formatting, keep the color schemes, or maybe even keep the same type of model and structures. This is where you would use the template files for. So here we have an Excel file which has some information about employees. It has their name, their salary, national insurance number, and start dates. Um, and as you can see, it's sensitive data. So you want to make sure that when you're building reports or you're passing the reports around, you don't want to be passing the data with those reports. But anyway, back to this Excel file. So from this Excel file, we've created a very simple Power BI report here that just consumes that data and analyzes it here. So if we go back, to, if we go to our data view here, so I just imported the data in our employee sensitive table. So you can see it, it has all the data there in the Excel. And we've also created a calendar table, which is just what we use for the um, time calculations that we do so at the moment it's just with the start date and also we have a measures table here that just houses some of the calculations that we do for the salary so you know some basic calculations like the average median min max calculations if you don't know how to do these i cover them in a separate video so you can check those out if you haven't yet so imagine you're working alongside with another report developer who has their own set of sensitive information that they can't pass around you want them to develop the same kind of report but you don't want to send the sensitive data that you have here um, because the initial thought that you would maybe have is just send the pbx file so that they can put their file into the report to have their employees but you don't want to send that because um, as you know with the import method in Power BI uh, you essentially copy that sensitive data that you have from your Excel into your Power BI data model so um, you need to find a way to uh, for, for this other report developer to uh, use the same type of uh, schemes that you have the color schemes and inherit the calculations and the calendars that you've already created you don't want them to recreate the work that you've already done before. So this is where a Power BI template becomes really handy. A Power BI template file allows you to send the metadata of your Power BI data model without having to send the imported data within your report. So the metadata means file structures, relationships, transformations, basically anything without the imported data that you use for that report. And creating the Power BI template file is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is from file, you go to export and you have the ability here to export to a Power BI template file. So the template description shows up when, um, when you have a parameter that you include and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, when they open the template file. So this is a template file. So we'll just put some description here and we'll hit OK. Let's put it in our demos folder. And from here you see that it's created as a new Power BI file, but it's called Power BI template file. Uh, it's not a PBIX, but it's a PBIT file. So let's close this report that we've created here um, and let's go to the uh, Power BI template file. So when you open the Power BI template file, You'll see that it opens a normal Power BI report, but what you'll notice is that when it loads the report itself, you'll see that it tries to connect to the data that you have here. So it, it means that uh, on when you open it, it doesn't load the imported data 
in it because there isn't any and it will just connect to um, those files that you have set in your sources so in this case um, it worked for us because the employee sensitive data excel is in our c system in in, in our local hard drive but if you send the power bi template file to another person and they try, they try to open it it will just fail because the template file wouldn't find that uh, file in their system so maybe let's uh, we can try to simulate how that looks like so if i just move the employee uk sensitive data into my desktop here so it's not in what so ideally the Power BI template file will open so we'll open it and it will look for the UK file and it won't find it so it will just fail so this is how it would look like if it was um, given to one of your colleagues uh, by itself so you see it tries to load but then it will say that you aren't able to load it because it doesn't exist so what you'll need to do is you'll need to include a parameter in your power bi template file so that your report developers can change their uh, data source when they open it so let me show you how you can do that really easily so let's close this let's go back to our original file here so let's delete this one so from here let's hit transform data so we have the error here so let's fix that this one for now and then let's move on to the parameters so i go to the source here and i will just change the source to where we move the sensitive uk data which is in our desktop for now it's okay that will fix that first issue so now what we can do, we can copy this file location here and let's cre create a new parameter here. So let's do a file location and we will put the current value of the, um, uh, the file location where our data lives. So in this case, we are just um, putting it as the default value, this one, and then we'll replace the hard code of the source. I'll show you that. So now we've created that file location parameter. We'll go back to employee sensitive, go back to source, click the cog icon. And here you see it's a, it's a text um, file path, but what we'll need to do is change that into a parameter. So now we're saying, okay, for the source of the file, you need to look at uh, the parameter um, for you to get where the file is stored at. Um, hit okay. Oh, and one last thing, if we go back to the parameter, you just need to make sure that the required check is, uh, is, is, is enabled, so that makes it uh, a mandatory parameter to um, be filled up when your report developer opens the Power BI template file. Anyway, uh, so let's hit close and apply here. So we will do the same thing that we did before. So we'll do file export to Power BI template file, and then we'll just hit OK there and let's create it in the same place in our demos folder so you'll see it right there so let's close this uh, power bi desktop file that we've created here and let's try to open the power bi template file so now you'll see instead of you know loading everything automatically it asks you for that parameter so it asks you where is that file located um, for you to load so in this case we know that we have it in our desktop so we'll just paste the location that we have well we, i don't have it in my clipboard anymore so let's try properties here so let's copy the location of our file So CSV, so we're saying, okay, get me this data from this file path. If I hit load, you see that it gets you that, um, uh, it, it, it allows you to reuse all of those um, things that you have, your calculations table, your calendar table, 
um, and your reports without having to recreating anything in your Power BI report file, which is great. Another thing that I've done is I've actually created another file here, Employee Sensitive US, which uh, simulates a kind of the scenario where you have a different file that you want to use, uh, maybe a different file um, used by another report developer that they want to analyze. Um, it has the same structure as our UK file, um, except that it's for them. So um, what we want to try to do is uh, use this file in our report instead of the UK, UK file. And let's see how that differs. So let's close this one again. Um, and then let's open the template file once more. And again, again, it asks you for the file location. So we'll, um, we'll add the file location of our US file. So we will just copy that dot csv and we hit load so now you'll see that it hopefully it gives you the exact same report except obviously the calculations and the measures applies to the uh, us data model that we have imported uh, from the uh, parameter and that's really it for this video I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using Power BI templates when working with multiple report developers in Power BI. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.